Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. That's what we're out there doing today. Got another Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This time, draft box. We're going to check out the draft boxes for the set. See if they're any better than they were previously. And it's kind of a sad occasion because this is going to be the last draft box, I think. Uh, well, actually, they might do Ravnica Remaster. But I know that the next standard set, uh, Murders of Curl Up Manor there, is going to be Play Boosters, not draft boxes. We're going to get the new ones, but let's check out this last standard set draft box while we have the opportunity to do so. And we've got our trigger troll box topper. We'll get to that here. Let's see what we get. Um, so far, I haven't opened a lot yet, but I don't feel like I've gotten super lucky with this set. And it kind of seems like I'll get really lucky with some sets and some sets i just have terrible luck with so this one's starting off maybe it'll be one of those terrible luck sets let's find out maybe it was just the first couple boxes weren't that good we'll see here got a fungus among us we got a hidden cataract and a wall they're forgotten and sentinel of nameless city so two rares on the first pack here good start for a draft box and there are uncommons and lots of bulk commons. There. These are apparently Japanese because they got the pull tabs on them and the packs are backwards. So, Souls of the Lost, and that's it. And got the extra uncommon. So, it does look like they put the extra uncommons and possibly the extra rare slot in these. I didn't really check them out or read about them in advance or anything. So, whew, one of those pre lands. I like those. Breaches, uh, the breaches. So, nothing exciting so far. So, yep. piles falling over already. Cars are slippery. Definitely Japanese. They are a little glossier than the American ones. We got a trumpeting carnosaur for a full art, and we got a full art uncommon too. So, that's unusual. First time we see a full art, and there's two of them in the back. Very colorful. Noom. Got the beating cave. Finally a mythic. We got uh, one of the ogres, the red one, which I think is one of the cheaper ones, but hey. Still an ogre. Whatever that means. What's an ogre? Excuse me. So I'm going to flip card. Yeah. They tend to be popular, I guess. We got our first regular foil. We'll put it up there. And bedrock tortoise. And <laughs> big old turtle. Turtle. There. Right. Got our counters. And a hidden nursery. Sahili. Huh? A non planeswalker planeswalker. I guess she never did get her spark back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. She was a planeswalker, wasn't she? Maybe, maybe it's somebody else I'm thinking of. I don't even know. Vampire Demon. What is this game? Magic the, the Gambling. Abuse Waking. And that's it. Well, not the spiciest draft box so far. Fungus. Pretty Island. And Wall of the Forgotten. And that's it. All right, let's see if we can make this video kind of quick, seeing how we're not getting too much excitement going on. Golem, Thousand Moon Smithy, with the barracks on the back. I better move these comments over before I make a bigger mess than I'm probably already going to make. I'm not even through the first stack yet, I'm already knocking stuff over. That's good. Flip card, a nice swamp, foil coming, and... Poetic Ingenuity. Interesting. So what do you guys think of the set so far? Do you like the Colorful Dinosaur Return? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's terrible? Do you think it's me? Echoing Deeps. I still don't like the name of that card. Just me. Am I the only one bothered by it? Noom. And Sunken Citadel. So... I haven't pulled a single cavern or a single mana crypt yet. <laughs> Imagine that. It's almost like they nerfed them. 
the Dyer flannel with the Dyer blunderbuss on the back. Hopefully there's nothing in the comments slots because we're not even looking. We're not even we're just throwing the comments to the side. So let's see. Restless Prairie. I guess I'll scan through them a little bit. Probably not. Pointless. I don't think there's anything higher than the comments. I hope not. Gollum, Pretty Forest, Deep Root Pilgrimage, Fuller Dreadmaw. All right. I did not get to do the pre release last weekend, so hopefully I get to play it soon here. And Nimpakar. Pretty sure that's where I got a customer service the other day. Okay, I won't go there. I went there already, didn't I? Eh, Backpedal, backpedal, advertising. We don't want advertising. Advertising stupid. All right. Um, Inti. Well, for first brother, the Outie. Thanks. Bad jokes, I don't know. I'm tired. It's late. I work too much lately. Throne of Grim Captain with the Grim Captain on the back. And another showcase there. Well, I guess we'll put this aside. They're not going to be worth anything, because, you know, every set has 45 variants, so none of the variants are worth anything anymore. All right. Sanguine Evangelist. God, we only have one Mythic so far. Or two Mythics. Two Mythics. That's still not very good, considering we're over halfway through the box. Darren Soul Cleaver. Right. We're almost two-thirds of the way through the box now. Find something good. Molten claps. That was not what we were looking for. Come on, where's the goodies? Where's the beef? Dinosaur. Painful. Bring over the last gift. We could use a couple of gifts right now out of this box. A couple, two, three, fifty. Spirit. And braided net. Another flip card with a braided whatever on the back. And they couldn't even come up with a different name for the backside. All right, I'm getting pallet again crazy here. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right, last stack. Still working at the house. The shop is still uh, a disaster. Sovereign Okanik. And I can't read the rest because his head's in the way. Get your head out of the way, dude. I'm trying to read stuff here. All right. I'm totally going to knock over these piles. You just wait. It's going to happen. It'll be chaos. Right. Hey, finally. Galta Stampede Tyrant. Wonder if he's as good as the first Galta. Is he? Let me know. What do you guys think of the new Galta? Is he any good? Uh, put any number of creature cards from your hand out of the battlefield. Whew, yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, that's very interesting. Treasure map. With treasure cove in the back. Any number of creature cards. Man. How can you cheat them into play? <laughs> well, you cheat them into play with a handful of creatures. Bunch of card draw and then cheat them into play. Magmatic Galleon. You're right. Somebody's got to be working on breaking that guy right now. All right. So, Squirming Emergence. This sounds... No. This doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound healthy. Alright. Moodle. Restless Vince. And that's it. Okay. We have four mythics. And I don't think a whole lot of value going on there. What do we got here? Full art. Get lost. Yeah. That's what we just said to our money. We said get lost. We don't want you no more. Yeah, this set definitely seems to be <laughs> not liking me too much. Um, I think it's going to be one of those ones. Preacher of the Schism. And, yeah. I think this one's just going to really hose me on everything I open. Gollum. Rissus Prairie. Huckataz. Deepest Betrayal with the Temple of the Dead on the back for Mythic number five. But it's not enough, I don't think. I think we're... Uh, Looking pretty sad on this box here. Lands are pretty. Yeah, there's pieces of pack here. Hit the mother load. No, no, we did not. That is false advertising. We have hit no mother load in this box. 
I haven't even hit the kitty load. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. So we're rubbing it. Okay. One more pack, and we'll open the box topper, and then we will stop the bleeding and end this video. Uh, Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Did they run out all the ideas for card names? All right, let's let's open this box topper and, and call it a night. <laughs> what is going on here? And it's uncommon. Of course, it's an uncommon. All right, so that was pretty terrible. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but uh, one, two, three, four, five Mythics, and I think maybe the Ogre might be the most valuable one. It's only a couple bucks, I think. So there's that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we had an awesome box. It just doesn't seem like it, but it looked pretty terrible to me. So <laughs> hit some of those links in the description that help out. Uh, help me recoup a few cents off of this box that I spent a lot of money for and got nothing out of. So thank you guys so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.